Okay, here is my thoroughly broken up screen on my Droid X2 phone. And this is really my fault. I've dropped it about 20 times before. And uh, it's never even had a scratch on it. But this time I dropped it face down onto uh, a parking lot. It was like a, a, a pavement with little rocks sticking up kind of deal. So it really didn't have a chance. But I went ahead and ordered the screen and digitizer and some tools a couple of little Torx tools two different size Torx tools and then like a little spudger kind of thing prior I think I figured I didn't have anything like that around here so I went ahead and ordered one uh, also got some double sided uh, 3M double sided adhesive I think it's going to be super thin and strong, so I'm glad I bought that. And then, uh, let's see, I think the screen, the tools, the adhesive, and then uh, shipping was all, all together was like 50 bucks, maybe like $52, something like that, which is definitely way cheaper than buying a new phone. Uh, also, another tool I'm going to be using is this Conair hairdryer. And I'm gonna be following the uh, I'm gonna be following the instructions in the video for the company that uh, actually distributes these these screens. So, and I'll give a link to their video too. So let's get started. Okay, the first step is gonna be to remove the back cover, then the battery. I'm pulling the little tab. And then the micro SD card just pulls out. We'll just set that off to the side for now. And there's supposedly two uh, two torque screws. Let's see. Get a little tighter shot here. I'll just keep the phone like that. There we go. All right. Yeah. There's torque screws here and here I have to come out so those are out go look at the next step okay so now I have to go around and pry pry this thing apart using this little uh, pry tool they included whoops I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I broke it. And that comes off. There is a little residue in there. It's got some, uh, some adhesive and whatnot holds it in too. Okay, so I think I'm also okay, we now have access to four more screws here, 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 and here. Okay, now we're going to pry the back housing off. Yeah. You can see the clips are actually these little guys here, here. Those are what you're actually prying okay, off. Okay, so then in the video they're talking about some connectors that are in this area. But in their video there's no tape. And my 
phone. I do have tape right here, so I'm going to remove this. Okay, this connector is supposed to just pop up. There. And it just pops up. This is called a jaw connector next. Then, okay, and then there's another connector up here near the camera that needs to come off. The wire connector. Very small piece of coax. Okay, now here. according to their video, whenever I'm pulling this board, this motherboard out, there's going to be another connector. I see it. Which is another one of those pop connectors. So while I'm lifting, try and pop that off. There we go. Here we go. Popped it. So now the motherboard's out. Okay, so apparently I uh, managed to strip this Torx, this T3 tool out whenever I was trying to get those other four. These uh, these four here out. So now I'm going to have to make a trip to the hardware store in the morning and uh, see if I can find another T3 tool. So I'll be back later. Okay, I just got back from the hardware store and I bought this Husky 8-in-1 Torx screwdriver set. It was like five bucks. It was like six bucks with tax. Uh, the only thing is it only has it's got eight different sizes but it starts starts at T5 but I already tried it I'm sorry it starts at T4 excuse me but I already tried it and T4 fits these screws perfectly it's a little tight but it works fine it's not slipping at all These things are small. Yeah, T4 works fine. Oh, here it is. There, I'm not missing any. Whoops, that is number 12. I think there's supposed to be one more. They said 13. Let's seal this little bit of tape off. Covering this connector. Ah, there's So I've got all 13 torque screws off this now. This connector is one of the kind. I'm lift the thing up. Yeah. Lifts up like that. And pulls out. Okay. That was easy. But this, the rest of it going all the way over to here it's back behind this stuff here there's also another ah, well This appears to be the screen itself. 
that's not cracked at all. Now this is the this is the cracked up glass and digitizer here. get the peel the black part up here. Okay, that peels up pretty easily. Then there's adhesive holding this down. So somewhat carefully pulling this up. Now the only part I'm a little concerned about is right here. It goes under okay, it, goes, it does go under this but the new digitizer comes with this little connector too. So that's not something to be concerned about. Alright. So now there's the screen. Which I need to make sure I get all the fingerprints off of. And here is the bone just press it out. Yeah. Now they did, they did show them using a, a little blow dryer to loosen up the adhesive. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out too. blow dryer on the spots I'm pressing on. Okay, and I don't know if you can see that, but as it heats up, it's definitely lifting a lot easier. Just keeping constant pressure, not really changing the pressure up much, and just letting the blow dryer do the work. Okay, so we got the old bad digitizer off. Here's the bad digitizer, it's all the way off.